welcome back to the Dawn of the Zed's second edition playthrough. We're about to begin turn 30, but let's find out what's going to happen this time. Oh, good news for us. A hero arrives. Uh, so let's start at the top. We, have, uh, we do have raiders, and they're going to move. And they are going to move from Ingbird right into the space with the strength 8 Z unit, and now there's going to be a hand-to-hand -hand combat. Now the infection level doesn't increase because the raiders aren't part of uh, our band, at least that's how I understand it. So they are going to be attacking the Z unit. They are less than. So on the less than table, they roll a 7. So if we consult the table on less than, if we roll a 7, the attackers take 2 hits, and the defenders, which are the Z units, take 1. So what's going to happen is two hits is going to flip over the Bubba's Band Raider unit. They're going to have to retreat back to Ingberg. They are now strength three, and this Zed unit takes one casualty of one dead Zed token. Okay, that was, um, that was Raider movement. Now we have uh, Rangers movement. If we want to move the Rangers, and I think I'm still just going to leave them there for now. And now we have refugees movement. Well, we have no more refugees to move, so they won't be moving. Now we look at outbreak, and that is on a 10 plus, and our current infection level is 6, so there will be no outbreak. And now we look at consuming supplies. Well, we only have one full strength civilian unit, and it's 4 plus, so that's not going to happen. And now we start looking at the Z movement. And the first Z movement is going to be on the highway track which is down here. So this Zed Horde is going to move from the nuclear plant up to space 2. They're strength 6. And the uh, 8 strength unit is going to move down to the nuclear plant. Uh, that is the high wave movement. Now we go up to the forest track. There are no Zed units on the forest track. Therefore there will be no movement. And now we have a bit of trouble down in the tunnels uh, yet again. Now it is time for tunnel movement. The first thing in the tunnel movement is our Dread Z unit, Strength 10. Now he is on a secret entrance space which links to the mine over here. And in the tunnels right now we have one, two, three um, Z units. And on the mountain track we only have one. So there are two fewer Z units on the mountain track as opposed to the tunnel track. So this Dread Z unit, if he moves, will actually move to the mine space. But because he's in catacombs, we have to see if he moves. I believe that's how this works. And he rolls a four. And if he's in the catacombs and he rolls a four, he just remains where he is. So he stays there. The next um, Z unit here is the Leapers. They are in space six. They also have a tunnel connection, but there are, um, I believe it's two because these are considered one horde now, but maybe it's the actual tokens. However, there are three here and either two or three here, depending on how you want to look at it. So they are not going to change tracks. However, they are going to leap two spaces right over to Dr. Martus's office. So this is not looking good here. And now the Ware Zeds, I believe their ability is they get to move two spaces as well. And if they run into another unit, they actually... Uh, have a bit of a scrap with them and they will deal one damage to any unit that they end up with. So one, two, and they go over to this catacomb space. Now that is everything that happens in the tunnel track. And now we have a special event happening uh, and it happens at the beginning of your action phase. Place one available hero unit of your choice, not a hero who has been eliminated, which means pickles can't come back, in the town center. So I have looked ahead and I want to bring in a new hero! Woohoo for us! We'll get a little more help coming into the game. And I'm going to bring in Mr. Johnson, and you'll see why in a second here. He comes uh, provided with a stockpile. It says, when this hero is received, you immediately gain one supply and two ammo points, including when selected or for setup. So when he arrives in the town center, we're going to get two ammunition, up to three, and one supply, up to nine. And now I just need to find his uh, hero token. And he is a good forager. And he now appears in the town center. So he, he looks like this with his gun. And he's a strength three appearing in the town center. So we have another hero showing up 
And we can look at the rest of his card. He has heavy weapons. It says in gunfire or combat, the hero receives a plus two shift. And when scavenging, he rolls two dice. That is good. So it's an excellent thing for us to have. And now we have three actions to take. So what I'm going to do for the first action, um, I am going to have our security guards do some scavenging for ammo. They roll a five, which is good for one ammunition. We're up to four. Not too concerned about any Zed units right now. So I think we're going to do another scavenge unit. And they roll a six. Uh, wow. So that's two more ammunition. All of a sudden we're up to six ammunition. So that is really good for us. And as my last action, uh, I have to think, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to interrogate uh, Dr. Mertus. And for an action, we can actually uh, interrogate him, move him to the holding spell and holding cell. And what that does is it increases our research level by one. And when we increase our research level by one, we are now on to place the final component. So we draw a fate card. I think I see somebody and we get to place uh, the final component on the highway track and I have to find the final component. Where is it? And I believe that is not it. I will find it later. Anyway, we were, I, will, um, I will just use a barricade marker for now. I have to find the final component token. So basically what we're doing is on the highway track we roll a number, a two, which is good for us, and now the final component is going to be appearing right here with this Zed Horde. So as a reminder, I will just put the dice down here. That's where our final component is. Now if we can bring the final component back to town and research, we will have the antidote. Now, I believe that is the end of our three actions, but we have Mike next to the civilians. He's going to tell them to scavenge. Maybe they'll get lucky, and they don't. So I believe that ends our turn. Uh, that is the end of turn 30. Join me next time for turn 31.